Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, The Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is Alzheimer's disease and the mind diet. Recently, I listened to a medical interview with a Dr. Martha Morris from Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, they have an Alzheimer's disease center there. And she also published a paper in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease and Dementia uh, regarding the use of the mind diet and it's showing you reduced risk to Alzheimer's disease. And what they did was they took three very healthful diets. The DASH diet, which has been used to reduce hypertension initially and then other cardiovascular diseases. Um, two is the Mediterranean diet. And then three was the MIND diet. And when people adhered to these diets very strictly, and they studied uh, 923 people. They were between 58 and 98 years of age for over 4.5 years. And when people really stuck to this diet, there was a reduced incidence of Alzheimer's disease in all the groups. But if you slacked off a little bit um, and you weren't strictly adherent, then the only one that had a benefit was uh, the MIND diet. And there were 10 foods that they recommended eating more of, and there were five foods they said keep away from. So let's, let's go over those. Number one is leafy green vegetables. They're the power foods six times per week. Number two was having a salad every day plus one vegetable. Uh, number three was nuts five days per week. Great source of protein, fiber, good fats, antioxidants, just a generally all-around good food. Uh, next was berries. Berries was uh, two times a week, but they didn't recommend fruits so much, but berries in particular, and sometimes strawberries were okay as well, two times a week. Next was beans, three servings per week. Beans, again, are a great food, fiber-rich, long carbohydrate, I call it, good slow blood sugar release, um, low in calorie, excellent foods for health. The next was having three servings of whole grains per day. Now, those six foods are plant-based foods, and in and of themselves, there's research that shows that they can reduce the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, um, obesity, so those are worth eating just enough of themselves. Now, let's get to the animal foods. Fish wasn't three or four or five days a week, like maybe the Mediterranean diet would encourage. It was one day a week, and there was no more protective benefit with consuming it more. Uh, number two, poultry, two or more times per week. Uh, three, olive oil as your main oil. And number four was, or number 10 actually, is one glass of wine per day. And it didn't have to be red wine or white wine, uh, just one glass, but not more than that. Now, here are the foods you want to keep down. Uh, number one, red meat, source of saturated fat, uh, four serving, no more than four servings per week. Two is butter or stick margarine. You want to keep down to less than a tablespoon per day. Uh, the next is cheese, less than once a week, once a week or less. Um, pastries and sweets, I don't know how they name this or term this, but five tastes per week, whatever that means. Uh, but it means cut down your sweet intake. And the next is five foods one time a week per less. So if we put all these together, here's the message. The message is that prevention of Alzheimer's disease is much better than trying to treat it after the fact. And so prevention is where we should start, in our 40s and our 50s, and actually probably even earlier. So that's the message. As usual, in the description below this YouTube, I'll have the link to this, this abstract and, and references. I will have typed in the 10, um, 10 foods you want to eat more of and the five that you don't. Uh, you can sign up for my health letter, uh, Kirk's Power Aging Tips, and go to my website, kirkspoweraging.com. My name is Kirk Hamilton. You have a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you soon.